Good morning. You all know how I love my coffee, don't you? I've got various things for making coffee, and in my camper van especially, which also took on holidays, that little little mug that you press down, you've seen all that. Anyway, anyway, I bought ages ago, back in the summer, it's before I went away on my camper van trip, right? I bought myself a mocha pot. I used to have one of these in the old house before I got all, all separated and divorced and stuff, right? Um, I actually exploded it once. <laughs> so I forgot how it goes together. So I've done the research today, done the research with my tinfoil hat, so that I can uh, show you how to actually make a coffee with this. And it's going to be the first time I've used it, and I'm really looking forward to it. Also, regular viewers might notice that I've got myself a new camper van top for the winter. Look at that. Made in Nepal from New Zealand sheep. I don't quite get why that works. It's got a hood and that. It's going to keep me warm, especially when I shave off my head. And I look menacing if I go, mm. I look like the Emperor. Emperor Palpatine. Anyway, so back to the coffee. So this is your coffee pot, okay? This is your mocha coffee pot named after a place in Yemen anyway that unscrews but I can't do that one hand so I've just lifted it off and this pops out okay so you got your three parts right first thing you want to do get your cup your mug put your water in it ignore the walk-in sink now we're going to load this chamber the bottom chamber with water Now I can go slightly more, okay? So I can get most of a normal sort of mug. That's probably about 300 mil, okay? Let's just tip that in there and have another look so we know. So, yeah, that's about right. By the time I put my milk in, I've got coffee grounds floating around in it. I did say it's the first time I've used it, and it actually is. It's just I, I, I loaded it up, I was about to do it when I thought, oh, video, what the hell? Anyway. Pop that in, okay. Ooh, throw the water everywhere. Now, I'm gonna load that with coffee, okay. Filled coffee, so I've got me coffee here. I don't know what it is. It's, it's gonna be a strength of four because it's always a strength of four with me, okay. So, I put one. Oh, it's already wet. Two, three, four five spoons in now let's just tamp that down a little bit like a solicitor would or a barrister or whatever the hell you call them now i just got to screw that on nice and tight so i'll be back in a second here we go i've done that now if you look inside okay what you've got is this spout so when I heat this up, the water in the in the bottom chamber is going to come up steam through the coffee, okay, and it's going to come up through here. It's going to bubble up through that bit there. All right. There's a filter with little holes underneath that bit. So under the water and above the steam. Now pop it on the stove, okay. Gas is the best thing for that, okay but my gas is outside. So I'm gonna put it on my normal stove at six. It's gonna take a little while. I'm gonna top, stop the lid, stop the lid, top the lid, top the lid. I'm gonna close the lid, gonna close the top, all right? And I'll leave that to heat up, start bubbling through. Look, can you hear it? I say look, I mean listen, don't I? You can hear it. So we get in there, it's heating up and that's gonna start bubbling through soon, I guess. Now this is the bit that worries me because what it was, had this big argument, right? And not talking for days. Made dinner and then said, right, okay, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make a nice coffee. So I went through and I hadn't used one of these for so long and I completely forgot. And I did something wrong. I put the wrong bit in the wrong place or didn't put it in or whatever. Did something wrong anyway. And she came walk through the door and went, bang. Covered the entire kitchen, coffee grounds. <laughs> Yeah, there's some apology. <laughs> right, here we go. So look, look, here you go. It's coming through. Oh yeah, the steam is blasted through the coffee. It's nearly done now. Look at that. Can you hear it? I'll get nervous. I'm gonna switch off. All that steam. 
Now hopefully I'm going to have an absolutely cracking brew here. I've got a friend who's, uh, who's Spanish who always uses one of these and her coffee is better than everybody's. Let's start pouring. How's my mocha Oh look at that, look at that. That's a nice lovely coloured brew. Nice dark brown that. Happy at the look. I'm going to tell you about the taste shortly. So here we go. So here's my pot now. There's a little bit in there. Very fine powdery grains down the bottom. But on the main, that looks all right. Let's just get the last of those bits there. How does it taste? So let's have a go. But that's looking nice. Smells all right. It's a bit hot, but yeah, it's good. I can cope with that. Nice, nice, nice to use it at last. So I've just unscrewed it. Here's your coffee grounds in there. This was that little filter I was saying at the bottom keeps most of the grounds out. That's your actual main. Let's pop that in there. It's going to soak in there. So now I've got to take out my my grains. 